it is sad times with the shutdown of Citra that for anybody who actually wants to get the emulator cannot download it off their website. But for people such as myself that use Citra to play Master Hunter 3 Ultimate and 4 Ultimate online, all the public lobbies are gone. But what if I tell you you can get it back by changing a couple of things? Here, let me show you. Okay. So first things first, you're going to want to open Citra. Once you open up Citra, you're going to go ahead and navigate to files and hit open Citra folder. Once this pop up, you can go ahead and close out Citra. Now, the reason why is because with the changes that we're going to do, you have to close out Citra. If you do not close out Citra, then the changes will not be saved. So once we're here, we're going to go ahead and click on config and then you're going to open up this folder or file that is called qt-config.ini. It's going to open up a notepad. Now you're going to basically scroll down until you reach a section uh, that's basically labeled web service. I'm going to black out because it has my username and my Citra token, even though Citra is still shut down. That's still a piece of information that I still want to keep. That's like still sensitive information for me. Uh, but right here, you're going to basically see two lines that starts with the word web. The first one being web underscore API underscore URL backwards slash default equals true. And the other one web underscore API underscore URL equals HTTPS with, of course, those symbols and the URL. Now, the first change that we're going to do is with the first line. Since I already made the change right here, since it's going to be true, you're going to delete that and hit false. And then that's it. And you're going to move on to the next. Now, here you're going to make two changes on the next line. The HTTPS, you're going to delete that S so that it could be strictly HTTP. And then the URL for the Citra, you're going to delete that and you're going to add this IP address. So of course, once you do that, I will po post it on screen here of the first one. So the first one should be web underscore api underscore url backwards slash default equals false and the second one should be web underscore api underscore url equals http the two little dots and then forward slash forward slash and then the ip address and then once you're done with that you're going to go ahead and go hit file on the file <laughs> and you're going to hit save. Even though I did it, I didn't really have to, but for educational purposes, I'm cheating you guys out. I'm, I'm just, I'm doing that. So close out of everything and you're going to reopen Citra. Once that reopens, you're going to hit multiplayer, browse public game lobby, and there you go. All the public lobbies for Monster Hunter is now available to you. Now, I don't know for those who use uh, Citra to play other games. I don't know, uh, you know, what to put for those. You may have to go look at their dedicated servers. But the person who actually figured out and gave us the instructions, I did reach out to that user let them know like, hey, is it okay for me to actually make a video like this so that I can actually spread the word to get more people involved? And the user was actually all for it. By their words, and I quote, and I quote, uh, you are free to create it. Citra is a program for all of us, which is why I am creating this video. So also for those who actually uses Citra on a smartphone, I have no idea what type of sequence that you have to go through in order to make those type of changes or to see if it's even similar in the first place. Uh, I can try to reach out to some other resources to see if there is a tutorial on that. But as of right now, I have no idea and I deeply sorry. 
but for those who use Citrus, such as myself, on PC to play online on Monster Hunter, there you go. I do hope that you find this tutorial helpful. It's actually giving me hope to actually play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and 4 Ultimate online again without the fear of uh, playing everything on my own. Because remember the pledge, I am going to beat Gogmazios. Uh, but yeah, with that, the link to the to the server for the Monster Hunter for you, Citra, is going to be in the link in the description below to basically give thanks to the to the user that gave me permission to make this tutorial. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.